on the vlog again. Just can't wait to do a vlog again. The life I love is making vlogs for my friends. And I can't wait to do a vlog again. Doing a vlog again. Going places that I've never been. Seeing things that I may never see again. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Top Vloggers. As always, I am High and Mighty Joe hanging out with my good friend JB. As you can see, we have Aaron in the back and the lovely cat is with us as well. We have got a great vlog for you today. This has been one I have been wanting to do ever since we came back. Uh, just been really busy, hadn't got a chance to do it, but today, today we're doing it. We'll see you there. Well, here we are in the town of Gary, Indiana. Now, I have been a music fan uh, pretty much my whole life. Um, I started out um, as a country fan for the most part. And uh, I have always liked music and lots of different types of music. And as we walked through Gary, we definitely noticed that there was some places that were definitely uh, not up to par. Um, rundown houses, abandoned houses, houses that look like they needed to be tore down and things like that. But this is the house that we are here to see the day today. This is the home of the Jackson 5 and uh, so this is the childhood home where uh, Michael Jackson uh, and his brothers and sisters would have grown up. This is definitely this is their family home right here in Gary, Indiana. As you can see, that beautiful statue right outside in front of their home. Now, I do want to apologize for all of the noise. There is a gentleman across the street that is mowing his yard. In loving memory of Michael J. Jackson, 1958-2009, he gave us a lifetime of love. The Jackson family. Parents Joseph and Catherine, brothers Jackie, Jermaine, Marlon, Randy, Tito, sisters Janet, Latoya, and Rebby. As you can see on this fence, uh, people are writing their messages of uh, hope and respect and love for the Jackson family and Michael Jackson. Uh, as you guys know, Michael Jackson has passed away and uh, people come out here and they sign the, the, the fence. Now this fence is originally painted black and they do paint it, uh, repaint it, I was told, once a year uh, after um, they get the people get done painting it and then people just come back and redo it again as well. Now there used to be a monument right here and I will go ahead and show you a picture of that monument now. Now we were told that the statue was being removed and cleaned, but that has been over two years ago and the statue has not been uh, brought back as of yet. So I don't know why it necessarily took or has taken that long to clean, uh, but they have also here you can see that people are still leaving their memorials and their memories of Michael and the Jackson 5 here on the side uh, of the house as well. Now we are making our way to the side of the house and uh, we'll be making our way to the back of the house to show you that as well. But there are some more plaques over here. Uh, th there's another one to Michael Jackson. In memory of Michael Joseph Jackson memory of Michael Joseph Jackson and the, and the day he was uh, the year he was born the year he died there's one for the brothers and one for the sisters so yes mo you know very beautiful plaques uh, that they have uh, outside uh, the home uh, this is one by the office of the mayor city of Gary Indiana for Michael Jackson and it, as you can see the mayor of Gary uh, at the time was Rudy Clay. 
all of the bricks and granites were donated by Diamond Yard Bricks. So if you are in the need for some bricks or granite, uh, they will be able to help you out. That is for sure, as they were the ones who have established uh, the monuments here. And as you can see, people are writing on this sign uh, all of their messages. Uh, again, like I said, to Michael and to the family uh, for their loss. Uh, this is... Michael has been dead for a while now, and uh, people still continuously come out here, uh, not just for Michael Jackson, but for the entire Jackson family. Uh, like I said, I grew up m as a majority uh, country fan growing up, but I have definitely learned uh, to love other styles of music over my life, and uh, pop music, rock and roll, um, and, and jazz, and so many others, uh, rap, R&B as well. But it was just nice to be able to see uh, this home firsthand uh, after all these years of being able to listen to Michael Jackson's music and to the Jackson's Five music as well, uh, and being able to experience this in person. As you can see, there's the back of the house uh, and uh, the back of the garage as well, which is next door. Uh, at one point in time, I was told it wasn't just a garage, it was actually a second home. Uh, but it is now a garage. Now as you can see right here on the corner of 2300 Jackson Street and Jackson Family Boulevard is a pole and as you can see even on the pole and the street signs they are leaving their messages as I said for Michael and for the uh, rest of the community and uh, for the rest of the Jackson family um, to let the let them know how much uh, Michael and how much the music has uh, meant to us over the years. As you can see, the the messages just keep coming, and they even left a record up here that people have signed uh, on on both sides and put stickers on and things like that. Like I said, all just. In memory of, of Michael Jackson and uh, the Jackson 5 family uh, for all of their contributions. Also, according to Adrian Grant, uh, author of the Michael Jackson a Visual Documentary, uh, 1958 to 2009, the official tribute, uh, he said that the Jacksons uh, left Indiana and moved to California in the winter of 1968 uh, when they started recording with Motown. Uh, the boys and Joe Jackson lived with both Diana Ross and Barry Gordy. Uh, I also read somewhere that the family's move was completed the following year as well. If you want to see what they have done differently at this house, all you really have to do is take a gander across the street. Because the houses are so cookie cutter that they are almost exactly the same. So a young Michael Jackson uh, would have lived here, like I said, with his brothers and his sisters and his mother and his father uh, in this house uh, until he was about 11 years old. Now the house has always been filled with music. Uh, Michael Jackson's mother taught the children uh, folk and religious songs to which they sang along. Jackson's father, who worked at a steel plant, had also dreamed of becoming a successful musician as well. Uh, when this failed to happen, he decided to do whatever it takes uh, to make successes out of his children. Well, we have spent quite a bit of time here at the Jackson 5 childhood home. And uh, I guess the only thing that we could do is get going to our other locations because we have some other locations that we need to do for this vlog. So let's get going and we'll see you guys there. Now we are not too far from their home. It is just right down the road. This is the abandoned uh, Garnett Elementary School. Uh, it was later taken over by another company. As you can see, it says Images of Hope Incorporated. But this is the original Garnett Elementary School that the Jackson children would have attended when they lived here in Gary uh, until, I believe, 1968-69 uh, era. Uh, so this would be the school that they all attended 
as you can hear the church bells ringing uh, there is a church that is not too far from here just uh, right over my uh, left shoulder so but this is the abandoned school that they went to um, so this is the childhood school of uh, Michael Jackson and the rest of his brothers and sisters as well as you can see we are here in front of St. Mary Mercy's Hospital and uh, it's definitely not looking the greatest go ahead and take you a tour and tell you why we're here as you can see the windows are broken out well this is the abandoned um, rundown hospital here in Gary Indiana uh, that a couple named Joe and Catherine would have came to uh, to have their fifth child uh, and his name would be Michael Joseph Jackson and this is where he was born and to be able to see the uh, the hospital and the condition that it is in now um, as you can see we can take a look inside it's just it's it's not good it's it's really bad it's should probably be torn down but I mean it's this is a place where the king of pop was born and so I am sure that someone would eventually want to do something with it but I'm not sure that it's in any condition to be saved it does it definitely doesn't look like it that's for sure and if anybody does do anything with it uh, I would be surprised but here it is we are outside of Mr. Lucky's Lounge. This is Mr. Lucky's Lounge. Now, this Lounge. is the very first and, place uh, that the Jackson 5 ever had Jackson a five performance. Had their very first performance. Now, they did do some uh, school talent shows and things like that, but this is the first venue um, that they ever went out and performed, um, and and this is this is Mr. Lucky's Lounge. Again, it is also very run down. Um, abandoned just totally not taken care of um, as you can see there is a fence up here to try to keep people away from it and as you can see it right there it says right here at 1100 Grant Street Gary Indiana home of the first Jackson 5 performance at Mr. Lucky's Lounge uh, and as you can see right there on the corner, people have been taking um, parts of it as well, apparently, uh, to get their own little souvenir. Now, I did come across uh, something that said that they were going to either uh, sell pieces of the stage or uh, sell pieces of the building or something to... Uh, commemorate the first Jackson 5 performance so uh, you could also own a piece of the history however nothing that I have ever found has ever come to show that that ever took place so I am not sure if that is is something that has taken place or if something that is planning on still taking place or if that's just something that they had in the works and then it never came to fruition uh, again, I am not sure what exactly is going on, but if they do ever uh, decide to do something like that, I would definitely love to come back and own a piece of that history as well. As you can see right there, they're just taking the bricks and uh, pieces from the building, like I said, because I don't know if they decided to just take their own uh, because they didn't, they didn't have that that sale or if it's because there's you know just regular vandalism as well now if you can just imagine that is the same door that all five of the Jackson 5 would have walked through with their instruments and things like that to play at this venue
Got one in the door. Well, where we are now is where Steel Town Records once stood. It, it once stood right here, and it was ran by a man named Gordon Keith. And uh, he was the first one to sign the Jackson 5. And uh, here uh, is where the stu studio once stood. Now, in 1968, at the Apollo Theater, uh, some very tragic things happened uh, to uh, Mr. Gordon Keith. At that time, Mr. Ben Brown was a co-executive producer of Steel Town Records, and uh, he went on to do some pretty shady things. Now, what Mr. Brown did was he went behind Mr. Keith's back. He got some information from Mr. Keith, which allowed him to go to a uh, pressing house and he produced a whole uh, slew of 45s of Big Boy. Then he went to one of the Jackson relatives and asked them to help him to promote or distribute the record in Gary, Indiana uh, without his uh, knowledge or intent. And then of course with all of this going on um, Mr. Ben Brown would arrange for uh, the Jackson 5 to be uh, pirated and basically sold off to Motown um, with, without Mr. Uh, Keefe's knowledge. Well. Now here is a mural. Uh, right outside uh, this on this abandoned building that was uh, asked to be done by the city of Gary uh, for the Jackson 5 and uh, here's a clip of the artist well I think that's going to do it for us here in front of the mural and inside Gary, Indiana, at no time uh, while I was here did I ever feel uh, any kind of uh, fear or anything like that. The town is definitely run down. If you would like to join us, you can do this by coming to all of our social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at the Top Vloggers. If you would like to help us reach the top, you can also do that by going to www.patreon.com backslash the top vloggers without your help and support these vlogs would be almost impossible to do i think that's going to do it for us here today we're going to see you on the next vlog god bless you guys top vloggers out <laughs>